Hi, in this class is about finding the pressure in a point of liquids and, and this is very important because uh, we need to use these equations further for solving some uh, mathematical problems in this chapter. So this is the second class of this chapter because I already uploaded a class previously based on the what is the discussed issues and content of this chapter and I also explained about the pressure and density and now we will find that how to find the pressure in a point of liquid so we're searching for it actually this is the equations you know it already because I hope that you already started this chapter but if you don't then see it properly suppose this is a vessel and we keep some water here so in this point suppose keep some water here and we need to find out pressure at this point suppose in the surface area there is a point called point called b and we need to find out the pressure that is that is working here in the point b so before going to explain it we need to think something that that the area of the surface if you think that area of the surface of the vessels is A and the height from the surface to that point this height is about H and what about the liquid this liquid can be water can be calcium can be mercury or even anything but there should be a density of the water so we need to consider the density of the water and of course as it is working vertically and there is a point of understanding the weight so there should be the working g or acceleration due to gravity so we need to consider this four quantity to find out the pressure that is working on this point or even any point so we are searching that the, the magnitude or the equations of pressure in any point of the liquid. If we think about this point, then we need to think the height from the surface of the water. But the thing is we need to understand, we need to already quantify the magnitude of the area and the height and the density of the liquid so now what we know from our previous experiences that we know that we know one thing that pressure pressure is equal force force upon area right we know it that p equal f by a f by a that means the amount of force that is acting acting vertically to the unit area that is called pressure so here we know the area suppose area that can be anything depending on the vessels because this is the vessels we are we are we are thinking we are imagining that there is some water suppose this is water kept in this vessel so we are thinking this is the area and that should be the g and that is the height we are thinking the last part at the bottom of the vessel so we took the height of the surface of the area and this is the density of water so now we need to find out the force. The force, actually, the force of the liquid. Force of the liquid. What is this actually? This force of the liquid is actually the weight of the liquid. The weight of the liquid. So we can say that the weight, weight of the liquid liquid if this is the weight then we know that weight is actually m g that means mass mass of the liquid times g and now we know that from the density equation rho is equal m by v that means the amount of amount of substance of that that means mass of water per volume per unit volume is actually the density so right now we know that m is at equal rho and v cross product so now we have m and we can see that this m is equal rho times v times g and the volume is whatever the volume is the area 
times height times g as we know that that volume is equal length times breadth times height we know it so the cross product of length and breadth is about area so this is area cross h so the volume is equal the cross product of area and height so we took it area and height so from where to where so rho and cross v comes from m and a cross h comes from v so if we know this is the force of the liquid then we need to implement these things on this equation so we know that actually f is equal rho cross a cross h cross g okay and now if we see that previously the pressure is equal force by area okay so now we can use this magnitude of force here that means rho times a times h times g upon a and now we can eliminate a from both sides so what we got we got p equal h rho g so we can say that p equal h rho g it should be rho g or even uh, whatever the cross product of three three thing h rho g and this is the equation p equal h rho g so i hope you understand how i derived it or this is very easily understandable i hope that you people are very very talented and of course this is nothing critical too easy but though i'm, I'm uploading this series of videos for that is why I'm explaining it to you. So I hope you understand that how we will proceed these things to H and OZ. Now we need to use it into the solving the mathematical problems. And of course, one thing is also important here. That is, in this equation, the acceleration due to gravity, that means the magnitude of G in the same space is constant. So we can say that P is directly related with h and rho that means pressure of pressure in a point of liquid in a point of liquid depends on height because the more depth more pressure less depth less pressure so we got pressure more pressure when we go down and we go to the deep so that the height will increase if the height from the surface increase the pressure will definitely increase and of course rho or density is also a factor if the density of the liquid is higher the pressure will definitely higher that means we know from the equations that uh, the density of water in 4 degrees celsius is 1000 kilogram per meter cube or even in kerosene is uh, 800 kilogram per meter cube but if you see in case of uh, other liquids like mercury so much higher so 13,600 kilogram per meter cube so if we use mercury instead of water then the pressure would definitely high because the magnitude of pressure depends on two quantities directly one is height one is density so the pressure depends on density pressure depends on height how it will be measured like we can have an experiment with these vessels also if we think we have one meter long vessels and we make a pores in three places like here here and here if we make three pores and we can see the speed of falling water we can easily understand the pressure so we can see that through these pores suppose water speed like that through three these pores water should be like that and through these pores water falling down like this so it means that the height of these pores from the surface and the height of these four pores from the surface is higher and the last one will will make a more speed water falling down because it has more speed I mean more higher from the surface that is why the speed of falling water is higher in the last pores because it has more height 
So this is manual experiment of, of the pressure uh, of falling water because we know that pressure depending on height and also in density. So I hope you understand this thing. But if P equal H plus Z is the derivation. So if I remove and if I give an equations like that, the problem is suppose, suppose uh, the question is this is the vessels and we keep here kerosene. So if the question is what is the magnitude of pressure in 80 centimeter deep? Suppose 80 centimeter deep. I mean, I, I forgot the question. Suppose, uh, okay, fine. Suppose a question like a vessels contained kerosene. Find the magnitude of pressure at a point of 80 centimeter deep from the surface of kerosene. So if this is the question, suppose this is a point C, which is actually 80, 80 centimeter deep from the surface. Now we need to find out what is the pressure. Pressure will be felt here. So we know that what's given, H, the height is given 80 centimeter. We need to convert it to meter. So it will be 0 0.8 meter. Okay, as the liquid is kerosene, so the rho, the density of kerosene is 800 kilogram per meter cube. And of course, we know the G or the acceleration due to gravity is near about 9.8 meter per second square. So we know all the quantity. So we can find out the equations like P equal H rho G is equal like H is 0 0.8 times 800 times 9.8. So what should be the value of the cross product of these three things? So uh, we can say that 0 0.8 times 800 times 9.8 is about 6272 6272 pascal so it would be 6272 pascal as you know the unit of pressure is pascal so it would be 6272 pascal or even even the question is suppose this is the vessels and where, suppose this is the vessels and even the question is where 700 pascal will be felt if this vessel is kept in water. So if this vessel is kept in water, where 7000 pascal will be felt. I mean the question is about height. So if the question is P equal H rho G and the question is about finding height. So in case of height, we know this is P times rho G. So if 7000 7, Pascal is given, we know this is water. So the rho would be 1000 and the G is 9.8. So we can divide it 7 by 9.8. So we got answer like 7 divided by 9.8, which is 0 0.71. So, 0 0.71 meter. So, this is actually 71 centimeter. So, the answer is, if this is water, then we can find this 7000 pascal in 71 centimeter deep. So, if it is 71 centimeter, then in this point, 7000 pascal will be felt if there is water because we count water density and here we count the density of kerosene so there is the difference and there is the problem solving technique and which I, I agree this is a very primary level and very easy level problems there are some critical level things but at first make sure that you understand this primary level I shall definitely upload some critical mathematic problem solving techniques later on which is available in test paper because students of Carrot College or even English versions and even O level I know that you need to solve some critical level of mathematics but at first you need to come and to understand the simple concept then we can solve the critical one for sure so this is a very short description about it so I hope you understand how this P equal H rho Z 
we derived and how to use it into the mathematical problem solving questions. So hopefully take care and of course stay well and do let me know your recommendations. Bye.